Hey everyone, in this short series I'm going to show you how you can install an OpenVPN server on a Raspberry Pi and um, connect clients like your iPhone or laptop to it. So what I'm showing in this uh, super slowed down video here is uh, me on my iPhone connecting to my OpenVPN server that I'm running at home. Um, so you can see here I'm actually just demonstrating that I can connect to local resources on my home network. So um, that IP address right there is a local uh, NAS that I have running. And you can see at the top I'm connected to cellular, um, not on Wi-Fi, and I'm outside of the house able to access all these files. Um, yeah, so in this video series, it's probably going to be like two or three videos, I'm just going to show you how we can set up the OpenVPN server on a Raspberry Pi, and then how we can actually um, use clients like an iPhone or a laptop to actually uh, use that OpenVPN um, so yeah, if you want to learn more about that, keep watching. All right, if you're still watching, that means you're interested in learning how to install an OpenVPN server. Um, so I just wanted to go over some of the high-level steps first, uh, just so you have an idea of how much work's involved and, and what all these steps are. So first of all, you're going to have to have uh, some sort of computer to install OpenVPN on. This is going to act as your OpenVPN server. Uh, I'm going to run this on a Raspberry Pi, but you don't have to. Um, so, you know, just get, get a server up and running. It could be Ubuntu. Um, I'm going to recommend a Linux server. Uh, actually, this won't work unless you use a Linux server because of the script I'm using. But, uh, yeah, just install, uh, get a server up and running. Uh, I'm not going to show how to do that. Um, I have other videos on how to do that. Um, step two. So we need to in obtain this thing called a dynamic DNS. Um, so the reason, unless you have a static IP address, but the reason we need that is because if you have uh, just a normal, regular uh, residential internet IP address, most, most of the time that's not going to be a static IP address. And what I mean by that is your IP address changes. Um, it could be weekly, monthly, yearly, but if you just Google like what is my IP address, uh, this value here could change. And that could be problematic for our VPN because our VPN server needs to know what your home IP address is at all times. And if it ever changes, it's going to be messed up. So unless we have a static IP address, we're going to need a, a dynamic DNS. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us a DNS address. So instead of an IP, uh, we're going to be able to browse to something like mydynamicipaddress.com that's going to equal our IP address. So I'm going to take this. This is just an example, just so you understand what, what's happening. This is now going to equal this. And anytime this changes, so say in two weeks this changes to that, uh, it's going to update the value of this DNS record. Um, so when we set up our OpenVPN, we're going to give it this dynamic DNS as uh, the address instead of this uh, changing IP address, if that makes sense. So to do that, you basically have to sign up for an account. Um, there's a ton of different DDNS or uh, DDNS services. Um, sign up for an account and then you download this software on your computer. And basically like every day it checks or probably every couple of minutes, it checks your IP address and updates that record. So I use something called no IP. I'll just give you a quick look at what it looks like. Um, so you can see I have a host name here. This is my dynamic IP address. Uh, currently, this is what the IP address is, but it, you know, it changes. Um, but yeah, I'll go through how to do this. Uh, I just want to go over these steps first. So then once we actually have a, a DNS record, what we need to do is install. Uh, we actually have to run this OpenVPN install script on the Raspberry Pi or on your Ubuntu server, wherever your wherever your OpenVPN server is going to reside. So, this is the one I'm going to use. Um, I'll put this link in the description. Where did the where did it go? Somewhere in here there is a script. So this is what we're going to run, and basically it's this really easy setup script. Um, you just answer a few questions, and it it sets it all up for you. Um, and then the last step I have here is we need to update our router to allow traffic to go uh, to the Raspberry Pi. So what I mean by that is basically we need to go into our router and let me find where this thing is. Uh, I think this is it. 
Yeah, we basically need to say uh, if if someone's connecting on uh, attempting to connect on external port one one nine four, basically just uh, forward them to the address of the uh, Raspberry Pi, if that makes sense. So like when we have our iPhone and we're attempting to turn on OpenVPN, what's happening is you're you're trying you're attempting to uh, connect to your home network over this external port 1194 and then this router is saying okay this person's trying to connect on this port um, what are we going to do like how do we handle this what should we do and it's telling it okay if that happens uh, redirect them to this server and that's the server of your raspberry pi and then your raspberry pi knows what to do with that request uh, basically if that makes sense um, all right hope that didn't bore you guys too much um, in the next video, we're going to get into actually doing this, but I wanted to just lay out what all has to happen first. Um, just want to lay that out up front. All right. See you in the next one. Thanks.